So here's my rain barrel. <clears throat> this is an adapter. I took a hacksaw and just cut off the downspout and you just screw this plastic part on. I got this from Lowe's. Inside of here, just a little simple filter to catch debris that comes out of the um, downspout. Uh, I clean that out like once a year. It's not very, it's not something I deal with a lot. Um, you can come up with a more clever way to deal with that. Some of the downspouts actually come with a, uh, like it basically redirects all the debris outside of it. I haven't tried that. It might work. It might not. But yeah, this is all stuff from the, stuff from the roof. So there might be some contaminant in the actual barrel, but I think you're going to have that with any rain barrel. This is just a big 55 gallon drum. Um, it's a pickle barrel. Trying to get down here. So what I did was I drilled a hole down here and screwed a re regular tap in. I'm pretty sure it's empty. It's not empty. Um, to seal it, I included an, a washer, a, a rubber washer on the outside and the inside, and just screwed it in. Actually, is it on the inside? No, because the lid doesn't come off. All I did was screw it into the side of it, the outside, and use silicone caulk. Sorry about that, didn't remember. Way down here, on the very, very bottom of the barrel, I also included one more drain. The reason for that was that I wanted to make sure if there's sediment or something gross in the bottom, that I can drain this, and I'll know that the barrel's getting drained. I opened both of them in the winter and let the whole thing drain out. You could probably insulate it, but I haven't figured out a good way to do that yet. Commercial barrels have this tap way up near the top, and on the inside there's a tube that goes down to the bottom. I think through vacuum it pulls water out. I was not clever enough to do that originally, so I used this, and it fits my watering can underneath, but because there's no pump and it's only gravity fed, it's really hard to water my garden with it. I have to just fill cans and use it for, uh, for the garden, like a bucket at a time. But it still is some water, um, so it still does help. Uh, I would recommend slanting it away from your house a little bit. Next time this is emptied, I'll probably shim the back of it so it tips forward because when the rain falls, if I don't open it up and it starts to overflow, it overflows back towards the house across the top of the barrel. Um, I put a rock across here so nothing can get in there. Um, I also put mosquito dunks into this just in case because I don't want to grow mosquito larvae anywhere. But yeah, the cost of the item is the drum, which I got for free, the downspout, which is about $5, or the, the adapter for the downspout. Um, it's over in the concrete and roofing section and Lowe's and the two spigots, which were probably two or three dollars each. Um, so the barrel's probably the most expensive part because if you can't find it for free, people usually sell it for about 25 bucks. But it's better than like an $80 system. Anyway, I hope this is helpful. Please feel free to come on over and check it out in person. Bye.